Now we will put together the fore and rear carriage. You can see here how the pieces will be put together. Notice in particular that some of the parts are made in laminations. What that does is it eliminates the need for drilling holes since the pieces on the interior lamination create slots that function as holes. See the same thing is done down here on this piece and you can see that even when making the axle piece an interior piece is used to create the holes for the axles. And the same thing will be done when we get to the rear carriage. The rear axle. So that's why you'll see several pieces being laminated together as we construct the forward and rear carriage assemblies. Here are the wheels that we've finished. And now what we're going to do is just move those to one side. And just take a look at the pieces that will be cut out for the carriage assemblies. See so here are the pieces that will come on and create the slots. Here's the upper bolster. So we'll just cut these out put them together. shouldn't think this would need any explanation. Here are the pieces for the upper bolster. I want to show you what I plan to do with these. I'm going to use my miter box that has a machined square edge, creating a right angle fence. I've put a fence at the other end. So I'll take my first external piece, run it up against the uh, fence, plant it in place, then take the interior lamination, run it up against the fence, against the bottom, that will give me my alignment. The upper bolster has been glued together, you can see the laminations the reason I wanted to show it to you now is that I'm not entirely happy with how this has turned out. I think it's going to take, you can see a seam edge right there. This is going to be, have to be sanded and shaped all around to make sure it looks like just one timber. Because this is basswood, it sands down pretty quickly. See that the edges have come together right nicely. The middle lamination seems proud just as you look at it, but that's because it was proud to start with, and so it's been sanded down completely and all the char is off. But I can tell you that's a smooth surface right now. This little bracket on the end comes out of the blank, like so. It has to have a mortise, or a, uh, excuse me, a tenon cut on the end of it, so it'll look like that. That's very easily done. Just make a, a slice across the edge and just cut down to it. The kit comes with some very nice brass pieces. 
These are the two we're interested in now. One goes on the upper bolster, one on the lower. These are plates that will, one sits on top of the other as the front axle turns beneath it. So we're going to clip these off and try to blacken them and then fit them on. Meanwhile, the upper bolster itself, you see I have a number 16 pin going through it. That's what's going to center the plate on the bolster itself. The brass pieces came out just fine using a set of wire cutters. I had to use the file to just take a little bit of the tab off the ends. Then I found that the hole was a, just a shade too small, so this is a reamer. It just goes through the hole and you twist it into just a couple of times. The hole sizes out right nicely. These are some flat nose pliers. Use them to grab the tab and bend it. You can see that there's right angles all the way around. When we're through, that's what it looked like. I'm going to go ahead and make the other one for the bottom bolster then blacken both pieces at the same The lower bolster made exactly the same way as the upper bolster. See the plate on top made with the laminations. These laminations do create the holes and they're working okay. If you wanted to you could make this piece out of a single piece of wood just use a drill press and drill those holes just as well. But this works out fine, especially if you don't have a drill press. Here are the wood pieces for the four carriage assembly. We've already looked at the upper bolster. The lower bolster was made. I showed that to you. This is the hounds. And simply glued together. This back stretcher piece is let in to the back. And the axle tree, which is also made with a lamination process with uh, dowel pieces inserted into a slot created by the external and interior lamination pieces. There are three holes in this piece that have to be drilled. You can glue the entire assembly together first and then use the holes in the lower bolster and also in the upper bolster as guides to drill the three holes in the axle tree. I used my drill press to drill these holes. Uh, when you put the pins through it fits together nicely. Uh, I've chosen to go ahead and paint it first.